we're back. We're just so happy with the weather here in Niagara. If you're joining us from, I know a lot of our contestants actually have family members all over the world. This is pretty cool. So this is the most people we've ever had watching our Jazz for the Ages youth competition. So thank you. This is the final. And uh, next up, we're bringing Brennan Parmar. He's actually from the States with a Sri Lankan roots and now lives in Canada. So we're very lucky to have him. And he's an upcoming performer in the Toronto jazz scene. He's currently studying at U of T and he has been awarded the Mary Alive Stewart Jazz Scholarship, Richard Lorworth Thorman Jazz Scholarship and has a chance to develop under Kelly Jefferson, John Johnson, John McLeod and Gordon Foote. Wow. Uh, he's 20 years old. And he has received multiple awards, including 2015 Best Soloist. So that's five years ago, guys, when he was 15. Best Soloist Award in the Festivals of Music Competition in NYC. Dawn Strathby Musical Excellence Awards in 2014, 2015, 2017. Scholarship Award to attend the Berkeley, Berkeley five-week program in 2018. And aside from SACS, he's received the Stellar Musical Excellence uh, education, completing his grade 10 RCM exam in classical piano. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Uh, okay. He's <laughs> <laughs> already wow. uh, <laughs> So, I'm Nina Seymour. Let's give it up for Brendan Parmar yeah. on alto saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> Thank 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm going to follow up with a with a tune called Stella by Starlight. Thank you. 
everyone and our neighbors might be listening. That's that's the that's the future of jazz right there. Brennan Parmar everybody. Wow. Oh, with a stellar rhythm section. Like she asked me who's in the rhythm section and we were still trying to figure it all out with our funding because we do pay our judges and our celebrity judges and anyway we got it all figured out and uh, wow you you were in good hands huh? <laughs> Oh, so we have, <laughs> so we're very, very nice, very nice. So I'm going to pass it over to the judges if you're watching at home. We have two more contestants. We are running a bit late, but thank you for your patience. And uh, it's, there's just so much great talent that the judges have given such great feedback. And no, no, but it's great. And and the weather guards, uh, gods are with us. So who wants to start? We'll do same old, same old. Let's start with Leslie. Let's go, Clark. Oh, Hold on to that tent, teacher. Did I just turn myself off? <laughs> you know, I might be draining these batteries. I have a tendency to do that. Oh, no, here we go. I think. Okay, how's that? No? Not yet? Not yet? Chris, to the rescue. How's that? Not yet? We're live. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There I am. All right. Well, there is absolutely no kind of critique that I can give you sir because you were absolutely masterful this afternoon really really impressed really impressed in fact you remind me very much although he's a tenor player of a young man that i represented in the beginning of his career when he was at warner brothers uh records joshua redmond you remind me very much of him with your focus and your your hyper skill uh so the only thing and this isn't even a critique it's just a little bit of uh it's a little uh, factoid but uh, Stella by Starlight, um, I know you played it very up-tempo, but you might want to experiment at some time 
playing it perhaps as a sort of a wailing kind of ballad. It, it was written for a ghost story, a movie called The Uninvited with Ray Milland, a, a very spooky movie. So it's, it's very interesting to see it, you know, up tempo, but uh, I think in keeping with sometimes it's good to know the lyrics of a tune or maybe its origin to just give you another perspective. That's all, but brilliantly done, young man. We're really honored to have you here this afternoon. Wonderful. Somebody knows their Omni book inside and out. <laughs> you remind me of uh, uh, an old uh, friend, uh, Kenji Omei. Uh, I, I went to the UFC with him many years ago, and he, he memorized that whole book and did it in 12 keys. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm just hearing you play today, and just bringing me back. It, it was so incredible. I, I love the, you're so confident and, and, and playful and you commanded the stage from the minute you got on there. You, you took charge, and and, and uh, it was is confident, and, and you're well beyond your years. Uh, keep it up. You're 20. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> enough said. I don't. I don't. <laughs> that awesome feel as well, and in a soloing time feel, everything intonation. Not, not, that's a a difficult instrument. I, I you don't often hear it played that well uh, with that intonation. So kudos to you for that as well. And that's uh, all I have to say. Lovely. Excellent. Keep it up. We have a role reversal today. <laughs> because I am being paid to listen to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I will happily pay to listen to you again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, you're a good player. Really good player. Guys, killer it's, uh, <laughs> there was one moment though, and I'll be seeing you in the solo. You were going, you were going, and then I just went to the stop. You know, I'm wanting you to go further. I don't know. And I, you, you see, the, I, maybe I'm reading it wrong, or you really meant to pull back and and then lay it down again. That was really cool. Though. Excellent playing. Can't. Your phrasing is perfect. Your intonation is great. Your articulation, everything is clear. Um, oh, I would say, use the mic a little bit more. If there was anything, <laughs> step a little closer to that thing so that yeah, we yeah, get it yeah, project yeah, a little yeah, bit more. Yeah. And okay, thanks. Beautiful and effortless. That's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and a, a real pleasure to listen to. Yeah. Any other comments, guys? Those at the bar, do you care to comment? <laughs> You need you need a mic here. Yep. <laughs> you may not know this, but the but we changed the we changed the program at the last second, and that's that's show business. I mean, there's always something that that kind of uh, when you get to the stage, you go, you know what? I think maybe we should do this instead, and then we just did it. So that last spell by Starlight was just kind of a, a last minute change, and uh, it was a smart choice, I think, because of the programming, and uh, it turned out great. It was really a pleasure. I look forward to playing with you again. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, nice change, nice uh, Stella. I love the way you go for it. You know, that's what it's all about. You can only pass you once. So have a great time. I mean, you just, you would just go for it. And when you do, I do, and everybody does. It's like no holes barred. The jazz is. You know? Let it go. Good. Yep. One more time for Ben Parmar, also sax. Wow. Oh, wait. 